drought and agricultural production loss is a reality for sub-Saharan Africa, disproportionately hit by changes in global climate and pest infestation. But the African Development Bank is bringing agricultural technologies from the lab to Africa's farmlands to mitigate those challenges. The Bank's Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation, or TART initiative, is putting the best technologies into the hands of farmers. We need collaborating partners such as TART in order to come in and complement what the government is already doing. For Ethiopian farmers like Elfnesh Bekele, the pressure to produce wheat is high. That's because Ethiopia imports a third of this cereal. The local wheat sector can't keep up with the national demand. TART funds are providing 28,000 farmers like Bekele with seed that can withstand the lowlands high temperatures. It's part of an Ethiopian government program to expand wheat production into 400,000 lowland irrigated areas. Ethiopia, partnered with International Center for Agricultural Research in Dry Areas, could leverage TART to see Ethiopia be wheat self-sufficient within four years. TART also aims to scale up heat-tolerant wheat production tenfold, producing up to a million tons of wheat creating 220,000 jobs and doubling farmer incomes. Elfnesh Bekele says her increased income will allow her to put her children in a better school and someday to buy a tractor. Most of Africa's smallholder farmers are women. In Chisamba, Zambia, women turned out for a community meeting about TART efforts to stop fall armyworm. This pest is threatening Africa's food supplies and the incomes of millions of farmers. The bank is working with Zambian government officials, seed companies and community leaders to distribute pesticide-treated and drought-tolerant wheat, maize and sorghum to farmers. All varieties have potential to triple crop yields compared to ordinary varieties, if managed well and by using fertilizers. This farmer shows how his treated maize escaped fall armyworm infestation, unlike his sister's plants grown from seeds not treated with pesticide just a few centimeters away. The armyworm attacked this field left and right. The anti-fall armyworm efforts are so successful that Zambian authorities are making TART funding a line item in the budget for Zambia's food input subsidy program. We need collaborating partners such as TART in order to come in and complement what the government is already doing. The bank is also partnering with the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture to fund cassava research in Zambia. The institute is using hydroponic tech to boost cassava plant production from 10 plantlets a year to 100,000. At scale, more plants producing more product on more farms means more jobs across the agricultural value chain. In Zimbabwe's Mashingo province, smallholder farmers want to meet the TART team helping Zimbabwe bring drought tolerant and pest resistant maize and wheat to rural areas. Farmer Monica Mateveke in Gray said the treated seed brings her community food security and more pride in their work. They look nice. <laughs> Mateveke's harvest comes despite Zimbabwe's economic challenges. Some 70% of Zimbabweans rely on agriculture, a sector that contracted last year due to drought, a cyclone and pest infestation. Since 2018, TART paid for the four armyworm pesticide used to treat 1,655 tons of drought-tolerant maize seeds. More than 165,500 smallholder farmers benefited from the treated seed. 
Zimbabwe wants to leverage TART to reach more farmers, as well as drive public-private partnerships and attract anchor investment, among other goals. From government talks to working with the private sector seed companies and technology partners like the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, to hearing directly from farmers, TART is working to support Zimbabwe's agricultural transformation. Steps away from this heat-tolerant wheat, Sudanese farmers are basking in the TART spotlight. And no one is more excited than farmer Daf Ala Mohamed Ahmed. Like most farmers participating in Sudan's TART-funded program, Ahmed's wheat yield increased from 2.5 tons to 5 tons per hectare. Sudan is a TART shining star, having trained more than 1,400 farmers and stakeholders, almost half of them women and youth. The initiative also increased Sudan's wheat growing areas and partnered with the private sector to produce 45,000 tons of seed, enough to cover all of Sudan's targeted wheat production areas with high yielding, heat tolerant wheat. Working with ICADA and the Agricultural Research Corporation, Sudan could leverage TART funds to produce another 60,000 tons of seed and improve the value chain in terms of grain storage and transport, among other goals. It's quite amazing what can happen when you get the right, the right seed, um, but also the right training uh, to farmers uh, at the right time. TART takes the best global agricultural technologies and adapts them to Africa's needs to create jobs, to empower women and youth, to help build economies, to help feed Africa.